Tomorrow will be a big day for clams in Sarasota Bay. Sarasota Bay Watch and Moat Marine Lab will release nearly 30,000 of them into the bay after recent efforts to clean up the water. ABC 7's Jackie Kelly is at Sarasota Sailing Squadron right now where people hope Sarasota Bay can support shellfish once again. Go ahead, Jackie. Scott, earlier I talked with someone from Sarasota Baywatch, and they say the water quality here is better than they've seen in years. They also say with the help of scientists from Moat, they're hopeful we'll be able to bring back a viable shellfish population. I love being outside, love being on the water, and uh, you get a certain point in time and you say, wow, I've had a lot of really wonderful experiences, and I just like to put a little bit back so other people can have the same experiences I have. Rusty Chinnis is the chairman emeritus of Sarasota Bay Watch and says once the Sarasota Bay became a popular place to be in the mid 1900s, the water quality started changing for the worse. Our developers started uh, dredging canals. There was a lot of dredge and fill going on, a lot of silt, which uh, you know, affected the water column, clouded it up, killed the seagrasses. Um, all these little communities had crude uh, waste disposal systems that uh, deposited their waste into the bay. The water quality just went downhill from all of this. And the quality got so bad, the bay almost lost all of its clams and scallops. However, with the water quality improving over the past couple years from new wastewater systems, there is hope. Sarasota Baywatch and Moat partnered up with a clam farm in Pine Island to attempt to renourish the bay. By the end of the summer, the project will have dumped more than 200,000 clams back into the bay. One local charter captain says over the years he has noticed the water quality improve and he hopes the clam restoration will be a success. The way the water's been looking and um, everything, it should, uh, they should take hold and hopefully start thriving. Sarasota Bay Watch says that because Sarasota Bay Watch says that this is the fourth of seven clam releases this summer. And because clams can live up to 30 years and eat red tide, they're hopeful that this will be successful for years to come. Reporting live in Sarasota, Jackie Kelly, ABC 7, your Suncoast News.